Hi, welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a border around text using GIMP. So, what we'll do is open up GIMP software. And we'll go to File, New. And we'll set it to 1920 by 1080. And we'll click on Advanced Options here. We'll set it to 300 DPI, that's fine. And in the Fill Width, we'll set it to White. Fill with white here and click OK. So we've got a blank canvas now. We'll click on the text tool here and I'm going to type in here uh, outline. I'm setting it to font size. Um, here the size is 440 and then I've selected this particular font. You can pick any font you want. I've just made it all caps for now. And we will click on the move tool and let's just move this up a little bit. And maybe we'll change the color. So let's click on the font here, the font tool here. I'll select the font in here. So I left mouse click and select the font. And I want to change its color. Let's change it to something like a maybe like a, like a light blue, right? Something like this. We'll click OK. So now it's like this light blue font color. We'll click back on the move tool. That's kind of my default tool to click on when I'm not using any of the other tools. And we'll just center it out on the screen here, roughly around the center. I'm going to right click on the font here inside here. This is the font that we, we selected. I'm going to right click and duplicate it. You don't really need to do that, but I'm only duplicating it so I can drag it down and have a copy here. This is like my spare copy, right? And I'm going to click left click on this font here, this text here, right click on it and then do alpha to selection here. And what I want, basically what GIMP has done now is just drawn a selection around this font. You can see this little dotted line if I zoom in. Got this little dotted line here so it's selected around the font itself and what we want to do is tell GIMP to expand or increase the, the selection so we'll go to select and we'll select grow we're going to grow the selection here grow and then we'll set it to 10 pixels and click ok and when we do that you can see the selection is now much bigger there's a gap here this 10 pixel gap now we can go to the bucket tool and it's already set to black so it's set to the foreground color, which is black at the moment. And we can just click inside here and we can fill the edge around black like this. Then we can go to the inside of the O and click here and fill that in as well. Now we've got a selection that's been filled in and it's like a little border around the text. And sometimes this can just improve your font, your typography inside GIMP when you're doing some graphic design work. You can just do use this grow select and then um, fill it in. And it just makes the font look a little bit better if you're doing some sort of logo design work, something like this. So I just wanted to show you how to quickly do that using GIMP. You can also do the opposite and do a shrink selection. So you can go to um, select and you can do shrink selection, right? And we could shrink it by 20, for example, and click OK. And now it's shrinking it inside. So now we've got an inside selection. So it's kind of the opposite, right? Different way of thinking about this. And you can use the fill tool and we could set that to something like a different color let's just set it to red in this example and then we can fill inside these sections here red although i would never probably do it like this you just get an understanding of how we can grow and fill a selection so that doesn't look too bad actually then once we're done with our selections we just go to select none and now we've got a black border a blue sort of outline and then red inside and you can go and experiment with the colors and change the fill types and you can do like gradients you can do loads of different stuff but just understanding how the selection works on a basic level allows you to then manipulate the font later with these different color schemes you can play around and experiment with it because you know how the grow and the shrink um, selection are working now the grow and the shrink so that's kind of what this tutorial is all about, the grow and the shrink. And it doesn't have to be text. It can be other types of objects. It can be other types of logic. Uh, when you're doing selections, you can grow and shrink your selections to add borders around anything. If you've got a silhouette of a person, you can do a selection around that person and then grow and shrink it and put like a little fade or some sort of border around the person. Anything you want. But knowing how to use the grow and shrink tool allows you to do this. So that's the end of this tutorial. It's a really basic one, just showing you how to do that using GIMP. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial. Mm -hmm.